Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a cinder block smoker, or what my friends officially call the quatch smoker. There's my quatch smoker there. I'm going to clean it up, take it apart, and show you what the inside looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like without the front cover and the lid. So as you can see, it's made of cinder blocks, and that looks like 24 cinder blocks. They're about a dollar fifty or so at Home Depot. So grab some cinder blocks. You can make a smaller grid. That's a two foot by four foot. You can make it smaller, of course. The bottom, so the patio won't get smoky and greasy, is a uh, quarter inch steel plate. So a quarter inch steel plate. And then I got some rebar. So I'll show you what that's for in a second. It, it creates three different levels. You can also see that I put some ventilation holes in the back to control the airflow if there's a north wind, and I'll show you that here in a second. That bottom level is for my charcoal basket, so it kind of elevates it about a half an inch to an inch. That way some airflow can get underneath the charcoal or the wood, depending on what I'm using. I'm using one hand, so hopefully this doesn't get too shaky. The second level I use for a kind of a heat diffuser plate, so if I didn't have something in the middle, it might, the food might burn uh, rather quickly. It'd be more like grilling at, uh, instead of smoking. So I stick a, another steel plate there, which is 24 by 24. So two feet by two feet. And that way the charcoal's underneath that or the, the heat's underneath and it won't burn the food right away. And the smoke will travel around that heat diffuser plate and then contact the food. The third level I use for my expanded metal so I can place the food. So again, one hand, so be patient please. There you go. Two feet by four feet. First level's the heat, then the heat diffuser plate, then the cooking area. So two feet by four feet, if you do the math, is just over a thousand square inches of cooking area, which is perfect for me. For a door, I used to use cinder blocks, but every time I had to clean it or put wood, I had to take a big chunks of cinder block off. So now I use this plywood. So as long as the fire doesn't touch the plywood, it actually doesn't catch on fire. This one's been used for a couple of, uh, a couple of years. So as you can see, the flames occasionally touch it. I hold it in place with these cinder blocks. Every time I pull the charcoal tray out, if there's any flames here, they'll be touching that wood. And that's why you see a little bit of char. So I'll probably need to replace this here pretty soon. The last thing I place on this is this pretty heavy um, top. So I am going to place it on top and then you will see the finished product there you go i just placed the top on top of the smoker and i will use i can lift it check the meat or pull the meat out and then again this hole down here is for the charcoal and the wood almost forgot those are the ventilation holes so the air goes in through the bottom comes out through the top as smoke so it should be smoking the food i got a couple of holes there for these thermometers so here's one here is the second one i use two for just to make sure that the the heat is distributed pretty evenly and it's usually within five to ten degrees of each other and also in case one breaks for whatever reason, I have still one good one while I'm cooking. Again, if there's a south wind, that is my, the south hole that I control the air intake. So, and I'll just move these closer or, or further apart, depending on how much airflow I want to go in there. Around the other end is the north hole. I have it open right now, but It'll be a south wind cooking today, so I'll probably close it. And it'll just close easily. Hopefully, again, one hand, so. 
close it up and now it's sealed it's about 95 percent contained or so there's cracks here and there that's uh i haven't cemented it together just because i'm not 100 percent sure i want to keep this here all you need is heat and smoke to make great barbecue so that's what i use if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hopefully you guys like the video and maybe some of you guys are gonna make one of these cinder block smokers. Also, I'm about to put a pork butt on this smoker. So if you wanna see how that turns out, subscribe to the channel and you'll see that probably by tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I have this opened up so I can get some good air circulation and get that keep that fire going but I'll let you see what it looks like right now and see how efficient it is so 260 degrees or so with look check this out how efficient is this that's it this thing is keeps these cinder blocks keep the heat and the smoke in I usually don't leave it out this long but I'm trying to show you what it looks like I'm going to add a piece of wood just like that if I wanted to add heat I'd add some charcoal this just needs a little bit more wood Thank you.